welcome children this is a ninth standard class and uh, i am ashoda uh, talking to you all and today we will be starting the new chapter matter in our surroundings children when we say matter all those things which are around us and they are useful to us likewise we have furniture in our houses we have uh, uh, utensils we have pencils uh, scale eraser on all, all these things and when you go out of the house you see uh, uh, you feel the hair uh, fresh air you feel and you see vehicles plants some of the animals moving around soil particles rock particles and all this all these are matters only that means we have varieties of matters around us we have varieties of matter and all these matter what all i just uh, listed down they all are different in their uh, uh, size and uh, shape they are different in size shape they are different in size shape as well as texture texture means when we touch them uh, some of them are very smooth some are very rough and all this so this we call it as texture they are different in the texture also then how can we define this matter we need to have one standard scientific definition written in one line or understood in simple manner that is what is matter now as i told you whatever we have around us all those are matters so i have scale here and i have one uh, scissor when i take these things and keep it in one place it is taking some of the place here that means any matter will take space that means occupy space and they also have mass means weight means occupy space and has mass we call this as volume so the substances which has volume and mass we call them as matter mass and volume of a substance will be measured in si unit that is standard international standard units so that is uh, about the matter definitions going to the further part what are this matter made up of what do they contain in them so it was not a simple thing to understand uh, many of the scientists have to work on this to give us what these matters whatever we see around us that to different types of matters we have no around us what are these things made up of on the whole when we when the scientists start studying or researching on this matters and the related points they just uh, have given us two important things that matters can be understood or learnt on the basis of two important things that means matter can be understood on the basis of two important things that is their physical property their physical property and the chemical nature or chemical property physical property is the way how they look and the chemical property what actually they contain we have different types of varieties of uh, matter what do they contain in them so that on this basis we can uh, study the substances in this chapter we will be concentrating on this part of the uh, matter that is physical properties of the matter is what we will be learning in the next part of the lesson so up, uh, then later we have to know what this matters made up of again there were two groups of scientists having different uh, points uh, on their uh, basis of research so one group of scientists said all these matter are made up of of course particles they are made up of particles but some of the scientists said they are made up of particles which are continuously arranged like a wood piece and it's like a wood piece so particles actually present in the matter like an arrangement of the wood a continuous log we see you no know, like that 
and some of the other uh, scientists say that particles are present in the substances like sand particles. So, some felt it is an arrangement of continuous uh, presence of particles like a wood and some felt it is like a sand arrangement like crystals. So, I have a simple activity here, a very simple activity to know how these particles actually behave. I have a glass of uh, water and I have this salt. I have this salt. I will just put it inside and I stir it. Children, now it is a salt water. So, as the scientist told us, matter are made up of particles. That means water is made up of particles and the salt is also made up of particles. What salt completely dissolves in the water. That means salt particles are crystals. As you see, they are actually crystals. You can see. So, these salt particles take the place in the particles of this water. So, salt particles go and occupy the space what is present in the water. They get along properly. This may be one of the simple examples. Just to know how these particles uh, are present in a substance. So, on the, bay, on the whole we can say they are made up of different types of, types of particles. Depending on the particles what the substance is made up of, they will have their chemical and the physical property. Uh, that is all for today children. We will have a continuation class in the next uh, video class. See you all. Thank you.